ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. There's a lot of trans drama going on. And I want to hit on this. Me and one of my um, trans subscribers, we had a very interesting conversation um on instagram and so there's a there's i told her i was going to go ahead and address this on my platform because i've noticed where i've been getting trolled attacked for what i post on my instagram page i even had people who have been subscribers for a long time saying t why are you promoting this and what i find very interesting is that everything i post on my page these are viral stories these are not stories that I'm pulling out my ass in some obscure part of the internet. These are stories that are viral on Twitter. They're viral on Instagram. These are stories that are also being posted by The Shade Room, No Jumper, Hollywood Unlocked, and many others. But I noticed that there has been more of a conversation regarding the trans community, right? It's just been more in the mainstream and things like that. And I'm going to keep it real with y'all the same way I kept it real when the Mexicans came for me. Remember when Takashi 6 9 was viral and I was calling him out and I said, why is he doing all these antics and he's putting his black security at risk? Why is he not walking around with his essays? And, you know, I said, there's a whole bunch of, you know, hardcore essays on the West Coast that could do security for him. And, you know, some of my Mexican fans, they got mad and they were telling me I don't have the right to speak on Mexican culture. Um, you know, I better stop talking about Mexicans. And I have to check y'all. Like, first of all, I talk about everything on this channel, okay? Any and everybody, race, gender, orientation, I don't care. So if y'all can come on here and sip on black dysfunction and black tea and kiki and it's all good, don't get in your feelings now when I'm talking about a Mexican artist like Takashi 6 9 don't get in your feelings when I hold white people accountable for the shit they do. Don't get in your feelings when I talk about Asian people. So I noticed that, again, if we're talking about just, you know, black, male, female dynamics, everybody's here for it. But the second is something LGBT or trans, it's you need to shut the hell up. You're transphobic and all this stuff. And like I told everybody, honey, if you don't like it, you don't have to follow. You don't have to watch. OK, because one thing I don't do on my channel, I don't do clickbaits. Everything is properly titled. I'm not going to say, hey, you know, here goes a video of cute kittens and you click on it. It's like, oh, my gosh, they're talking about trans people. Everything is clearly titled. Um, so, again, I, I just want to go ahead and, and reiterate to you what this conversation that me and this person had. Oh, it was up. My phone reset itself. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Cause sometimes it's hard to pull up like the conversations. It was, it was really good dialogue. And I think this is definitely what is needed. Let me see if I can find it here. Cause we kind of, you know, we wrote back and forth. It was two different people from the trans community that I was having a conversation with. See if I can. Okay, good. It came back up because before it wasn't coming up. Okay. So let me show y'all the video. This video was viral. It was posted not only by myself, but it was posted by No Jumper and a few other blogs as well. Okay, here it is. Okay. So this young girl, hey, you want to practice? Okay, have a good uh, practice. So um, this 12-year-old girl, she made a speech at the Women's Right event, and it went viral. So every blog posted this, but somehow, I guess, you know, lovely TTV is not allowed to post what everybody else posts. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. Not that happy girls are winning. Or a 
vagina owner. I am a child human female, a girl, and men like Dylan Mulvaney and Leah Thomas will never be girls or women. So that was the clip. And like I said, you can find it on No Jumper and other stuff. But again, you've got people asking, why am I promoting this as if this is not a viral story? So one of my, my trans subscribers, they wrote this. They said, T's content lately has been very transphobic for about two months now. Every other post is about someone being trans and T being against it. I thought she said she had trans friends. Yikes. So I replied back to her. And I said, um, I said her name, I said, we've posted the same topics as The Shade Room, Hollywood Unlocked, No Jumper, and many others. Are you also going to their pages to call them transphobic, or is this reserved only for me? This is a viral video. Why whenever trans is a topic, all of a sudden it's transphobic to post anyone with the dissenting opinion? It seems like you all only want the positive things shown instead of folks showing both sides. We haven't posted anything that other blogs haven't posted. Matter of fact, hold on. we don't post we don't post as much about this topic. Both Hollywood Unlocked and The Shade Room posted about Dylan wanting people arrested for misgendering. We did not post that. They also constantly post Dwayne Wade's child. We don't. Yet you all yet you all have this smoke for my page. My trans friends have no issues with me because they're not sensitive control freaks like some of y'all shake my head. I have an understanding for people who suffer from real gender dysmorphia. I will not allow you or anyone else to ever shame me into supporting attention seekers or mentally ill men who think that it's okay to shoot women over a bathroom dispute. You can welcome Dylan and Tara and TikTok Jeffrey with open arms and delusions, but I won't. Uh, but I won't continue allowing them to, inf to infiltrate and destroy your legitimate movement. That's on y'all, not me. So she replied back. She says, no, I thought this about the other outlets as well. And don't misunderstand me when I say I'm an avid fan and supporter of your channel. I just commented under your page because I know you allow an open and honest conversation. I felt like your audience would be a bit more open-minded and understanding. So I just stated something that I noticed and I felt. If that makes me a control freak, okay, LOL. Yes, I'm transgender, but I've been transitioning for like five years now. So this was before it felt like everything became so political. I've just noticed an uptick, that's all. Also, I don't think transgender athletes should compete against female athletes. I obviously don't support shooting someone over a bathroom. And Dylan makes my ass itch as much as the next person. But I love you and what you do either way. So it's all in love, LOL. Okay, so now this is me responding back to them. So I said, thank you so much. And I appreciate your response. And no, I'm not personally calling you a control freak, LOL. I'm saying that some people online come off like that in general. These are dialogues that need to be had between everyone to get these agents of chaos out of the movement. The reason things are becoming more political and drama filled is because of people who are hijacking the movement. And I believe the media is playing a huge part. Hold on. I believe the media is playing a huge part in the divide. Dylan is clearly playing games and, ha and had no attention as a gay man. But when he started doing the 356 days of girlhood, he goes viral and they reward him handsomely by feeding into his mockery of women. Ask yourself why are real trans women who have been putting in work for years in the community, like Janet Mock, who I love, Laverne Cox, Isis King, and even Flame Monroe, who has always kept it a buck, why are these people not praised and given massive deals and shown in a positive light? That is because the media wants to sow seeds of division and chaos. We need trans people like you to help speak out against the crazies who are here for attention, money, and viral moments when this is your actual day-to-day -day existence. I hope you see where I'm coming from when I address these issues. I'm not talking about people like you. I'm addressing the crazies who seem to be the loudest voices right now. So then she says, oh, okay, I got you. I'm sorry I misunderstood your viewpoint. And for that, I apologize. I actually agree with you. I guess it's no different than when black people experience, when the black experience gets politicized. You have a point, have a good day. So, you know, that was us 
having a mature conversation. And I, and I just, you know, I want it to be known to people because there was another lady, um, trans lady who had said the same thing. And she kind of felt like people were treating trans people as a monolith. And I had also replied back to her because again, I'm about having dialogue. You know, as long as you're not disrespecting me, I'm not gonna disrespect you. And I think we have to have these real conversations to be able to get to the bottom of this. Again, I understand gender dysmorphia and people who really feel like they were born in the wrong body. People who go through with their full transition, they're not playing games. You know, I see the people like Blair White and, you know, Laverne Cox and even uh, Caitlyn Jenner, right? But the problem is right now you have people who have infiltrated your movement. And this is the same thing with the LGBT community. You have people who have infiltrated the movement and this is why a lot of my gay friends do not want the whole gender thing tied in with sexuality because to be LGBT means that, well, to be LGB means it's a, it's who you're attracted to. You're attracted to the same sex it has nothing to do with gender, but because they have all y'all under this umbrella, what has happened now is it has paved the way for the crazies. So when I, what I want my fans to understand, I, and I know the, the trans girls that I, that I rock with who know me, who I speak to, they know that when I make my videos and I make my content, I'm not talking about them. The average trans person out here is just living their day-to-day -day life. They're just going about their business. They're going to work, trying to pay their bills, take care of themselves and things like that. Just like the average gay person, just like the average straight person, just like the average black person, right? So that's what most trans people are doing. They're not out here, you know, making a mockery of women. They're not out here as a trans man thinking I'm the next LeBron James and you need to let me play in the NBA. They understand that, you know, yeah, they've transitioned, but they know their strength is not necessarily that of a man. So they're just chilling in the skin that they're in right now. You know, so when I make these videos, it's not to knock y'all. It's not to like make y'all feel bad, but I'm not going to be silenced. When I see crazy, I'm going to call it out. I, I can't I can't live in this delusional world where people want me to accept somebody like a Dylan Mulvaney. I'm not because he's made a mockery of it. You know what I'm saying? You, there's so many clips you can watch it. And up until recently, I didn't know who the hell he was. He hasn't even changed his name. Like, come on. It's like he's not taking his transition seriously. And that's why I say if you if you really want to be upset, be upset at the media. Why are they not highlighting people like Janet Mock, who has put in work in the community for years? Why are they not highlighting the women of Pose, who made that show what it was, who really brought an aspect to like the whole transgender culture and everything else? These are women who have made a positive impact on the movement. Why are they highlighting the crazies like Jeffrey on TikTok? And when I say Jeffrey, I'm not talking about Jeffrey Star. I don't know why people keep saying Jeffree Star. I'm talking about Jeffrey on TikTok who looks like a dude who wears eyeshadow and talks to kids. But he, he said that he got a Tampax deal as well. You know, if they're really serious about being inclusive, why would they have a Tampax deal with Dylan Mulvaney, but not with trans men? Meaning that women who were once, you know, well, women who turned into men who still have vaginas, right? Why would they not make them the face of Tampax to say, Oh, even trans men use Tampax. That would make more sense. Why would you have a man who does not have a vagina be the face of Tampax? It, it just doesn't make sense. So at this point, it's a mockery. You know what I'm saying? It's a mockery. And, and then when I see Jeffrey Marsh, thank you, um, MJ, that's his name, Jeffrey Marsh. So when I see people like this trans man, uh, well, he says he's trans, but I can't tell because he comes off like a man. Let's go ahead and watch this. I, I'm, I'm ne you're, you're never going to shame me into co-signing this as normal. This man is threatening women. This is not okay to me. So legally, if I see a viable threat coming at me where I deem it a viable threat against my body or my life, I am perfectly legal to take that threat out keep that in mind 
when you try to make that mistake. And the day you deserve pudding pop, I dare you to try and stop me from going into a women's bathroom. It will be the last mistake you ever make. I dare you to try and stop a transgender woman in my presence from using the bathroom. It will be the last mistake you ever make. This is a call to action and a call to arms to everybody within the United States that are scared, worried, have children that are transgender, lesbian, bi, or gay. This is a call to action. You need to arm up, plain and simple. Go out, buy a gun, learn how to use it efficiently, through and through. All right. So y'all just watch. Let me come back on the screen. Give me just a second. So that is my issue. So I'm not going to play willfully ignorant with people who want me to like not post stuff like that when that has to do with half of my female audience. And so the way that y'all can like stop some of this from being politicized is that there has to be people in the trans community who get up and speak out against this. I have literally only seen maybe three or four people on YouTube, and most of them tend to be trans men for some reason. It's usually the trans men who are calling out the Dylan Mulvaney's and the Jeffrey Marshes and people like Tara. But it seems like a lot of the trans women are quiet. And that is the issue. These people, because that to me, I'm sorry, that looks like a whole man. That person does not look like they're transitioning, like they're on any type of hormone. I get nothing feminine from them at all. I literally get a man who's just like, hey, I'm about to just try this trans thing out and see where it takes me. All I get from him is misogyny. So my thing is, you guys have to start calling this stuff out. This is how you end like this whole divide between the trans community and, you know, everybody else at this point is that you guys have to come out and you have to start calling out this nonsense. It can't just be Blair White. It can't just be, you know, that's the first one that comes to my mind. That's a trans woman that does call out some of this nonsense. It just can't be that one person. It has to be more of you guys. You guys can't sit back and just let this, you know what I'm saying? Because when you sit back in silence, it's almost like you're co-signing this. And then you guys get mad because I noticed y'all have no problem coming to the comments to type transphobic and say, you know, oh, this comment is full of transphobia. But while you're saying that, you're not condemning the actions of somebody like Tara. Where's the condemnation for that? You know, so you, you guys have to start speaking up and we have to start having open and honest dialogue. I don't hate anybody. You know what I'm saying? It's not that serious to me, but I'm not going to sit there and play willfully ignorant to somebody playing in my face. I'm not going to do that. And to me, at this point, there's an agenda being pushed when I see people like Dylan and Tara and they're getting all this mainstream attention and getting pushed through the algorithm but normal, you know, trans women who are just transitioning and talking about, you know, their hormone treatments or their plastic surgeries, they're not getting pushed. They're not getting brand deals. So a lot of these companies, they know what they're doing. They're feeding this. And, and it's not transphobia to call that out because at the end of the day, which I don't realize is that Dylan is not only mocking biological women, he's also mocking trans women as well. So a lot of y'all really should be the, should be offended by that and not defending it. Because again, he's not talking about, you know, these, these hormones he's on. He may talk about it periodically, but when he first came out, it was him mimicking a young child going through puberty. That is what he was talking about. He wasn't talking about, you know what I'm saying, going through the transition steps. So, I mean, at this point, I feel like you have some gay men out here who feel like, well, they can't get any more attention as gay men. So now let me jump on the trans trend. That's what I'm seeing from the Dylan Mulvaney's. Whereas you have people where this is not a trend for them. This is how they live their day-to-day -day life. So to me, they're making a mockery of your life as well. So I just, I think the whole situation is, is just sad. But again, my job is to report on the news, on viral stories, and I report on everything. You can't come to my channel and be okay 
on sipping on conspiracies and black tea and you know white racism but then the ball stops anytime it comes to like gender or lgbt that that's not how it works you know what i'm saying and so if y'all are not going to the shade room and saying well, why are you why are you posting this shade room it's not fair for you to come say it to me because everybody's posting the same stories we're not posting anything differently from what anybody else is posting now me personally i would jump in my comments and i'll leave a comment because that's how i get down you know what i mean i don't post everything on my page i have small who posts so a lot of stuff i don't even know is being posted until i see it but i jump in my comments all the time and give my opinion like anybody else so yeah angie probably doesn't jump in her comments on the shade room you know adam 22 doesn't jump in his comments but i do and i'm going to be honest about my opinion and it is what it is you know but it's not you know it's not to disrespect anybody but i think at this point in time we have to have a real discussion about mental illness and you have a lot of mentally ill people who are attaching themselves to y'all's movement and it's not a good look because now look how many people ran to make excuses for that trans shooter that shot up the school it was all these excuses for that person then the following week a straight white man shot up the bank Oh, all his information was out there, his address. You got the parents on the news crying, apologizing to everybody for their son shooting up the bank. But for the trans shooter, everything was sealed. So it's like, what? So what's good for the goose isn't good for the gander? You can't want equality, but then when it comes to certain things, it's off limits. You can't ask any questions. You can't have any opinions. That's not okay. So I'm just glad that we were able to have that conversation and that dialogue. And so I wanted to bring it here to have this conversation with my audience. Understand that when I talk about certain things and I'm calling out certain people, like they say, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. If you're not making a mockery of women, if you're not sitting here doing the things that people are doing for attention just to go viral on social media, I'm not talking to you. If you're really suffering from gender dysmorphia and you've really been on hormone blockers and you know hormones and drugs and stuff like that and you're fully vested in transitioning i'm not talking to you I, and i don't think i should have to make a disclaimer every time i make a video i shouldn't have to say oh i'm addressing you know the crazies but you know i, I shouldn't have to do a disclaimer because i don't do it for anybody else I shouldn't have to say, well, it's not all black people, it's just the ratchets. I'm, I don't make a disclaimer for anybody else. Not all white people are racist, just these ones. I'm not making a disclaimer. I just make my content, I put it up and let the chips fall where they may. I can't control what grown folks say and type. You know what I'm saying? If I see somebody, you know, typing stuff about, you know, violence and harming people or, you know, we should kill X, you know, a certain group then yeah, you're blocked off my page. But I can't control if women are saying that they don't agree with this or if women are cheering on that little girl because she's speaking her truth. That's not for me to get up in there and be like, well, y'all can't agree with her. Like, come on, I don't jump in there with any other story. I don't think we're posting anything that nobody else is posting. And I think this is how you have conversation and you get to see both sides is by having genuine dialogue. But I want, you know what I'm saying, because I do have trans subscribers and I don't want y'all feeling like, oh, I'm coming at y'all because I make videos or because we post stuff. Again, I'm coming at the individuals, you know what I'm saying, the ones, like I, I have to drag Brittany because what she's saying is silly to allow, you know, like a Leah Thomas to now infiltrate sports. What Leah Thomas did was wrong, point blank. That was wrong. He knew that he was not good enough in the men's division. So then he ran to transition, changed his name to Leah Thomas and was beating the hell out of the women. Like, how is that fair? You know, so it's like, we have to be able to have these open and honest dialogues, you know? But again, like I said, um, hopefully we can have decent dialogue when the topics come up, but nobody runs what i talk about nobody i will not allow people to dictate what we can and can't post on my instagram you know topics i hit on on youtube um i don't make topics every day about the trans community i've, I've never have you know what i mean it's just certain viral topic if that's what's viral i'm gonna cover it you know what i'm saying but i don't my last 30 videos 
are not just trans videos. So we're not going to do that and act like I just come online every day and going on the trans community. Like, are y'all serious? I've never just come online and just gone in and drug people who are trans. Like, that's not even my style. But I have no problem dragging a Dylan Mulvaney because he's disrespectful and he thinks it's funny. He thinks it's cute to play this character. And like I said, he's not only disrespecting biological women, he's also making a mockery of trans women as well. So again, you guys have to start, um, let me see, Leah says, thank you T for clarifying and standing with the trans community. You're welcome, you know, but what I want the trans community to also do is to not just rely on my voice and the people who are calling out the nonsense, you guys have to use y'all's voices as well. Flame Monroe can only say so much. Blair White can only say so much. Y'all have to start calling the crazies out because at this point, for what I'm seeing, y'all's movement has been severely infiltrated and it is not cool. You have on Twitter, and I can't even show because they'll definitely pull this stream. There's a young boy who decided up in the school year that he wanted to be trans. He's beating the hell out of a bunch of girls. Beat the brakes off of them. And they got into it in the, in the locker room because he was pulling out his wee-wee. And was flashing the girls. And so they started cussing him out. He was knocking them girls out. Y'all can go look up the fight. So, you know, again, I don't know trans uh, girls who act like that. Most of them are not out here trying to fight girls. And, you know, you know, people who suffer from gender dysmorphia are not trying to whip out their willies and show them off to people. They're embarrassed by it. They want to hide it. So that's what I'm saying. It seems like anybody can just now be thrown in that category. And it's like, do they even really have gender dysmorphia? Because the way he was fighting, he looked like a little hood booger. He was knocking out all the girls. He beat up a Mexican girl, beat the shit out of a black girl. There was so many, and this boy has been out there whooping so many girls over the past few weeks. So now the parents are speaking out. Y'all got to Google it. So that's all I'm saying. Y'all got to start standing up for yourselves. Like, I get it. Some of y'all feel like, well, you know, I'm not an influencer. That it, it doesn't matter. Even if you're leaving a comment and you're saying, hey, I'm trans and I don't agree with this. I'm trans. You know what I mean? If y'all can type transphobic, you can also type when you, you know what's right and what's wrong. You can also call out the nonsense. And, and that's the sad part is that you and, and I get it because you'll have people in the community who will shame y'all just like when we had posted that whole drag queen video and they were dancing in front of babies. And one of my gay subscribers, he wrote in there, he said, I'm a gay man. This is not right. Children shouldn't be at drag shows. It should be for 18 plus. There was gay people dragging him and saying, oh, you, I don't know what the derogatory word was, but almost like when you call a black person a coon, they were basically referring to him like that. Like, oh, you're just trying to get points from the straights. The straights don't give a fuck about you. And I'm like, how dare you attack him because he's saying that he doesn't agree with drag queens dancing for toddlers and babies. Like now you're calling him a, a you know, what was he saying? He was like, um, not a closeted. Y'all write the word. I can't even think of it. It's like losing. I can't even think the train of thought. But he was basically going in on him. And oh, yeah, internalized. Yeah, you have internalized homophobia and all this stuff. And I'm like, all oh, because he doesn't agree. And like, you just want a cookie from the straights. So I get it. I know y'all get backlash from other people in y'all's community. But hey, I get backlash too. You know how many black people drag me? You know what I'm saying? For speaking the truth. I don't give a damn. It is what it is. It's my opinion. So don't worry about that. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, um, I just wanted to make that clear for the people who are feeling away or feeling like I'm attacking. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we have to have is open and honest dialogue like adults, point blank. So I'm glad I was able to talk about that. Somebody said internalized homophobia, internalized biphobia. Yeah, you know, just simply because he was saying that, I'm like, like now you're attacking him. But y'all are supposed to be a community, but I see more back and forth and bickering, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to certain things. Why can't people just have their opinion? So that's what it is if you want the latest news in the streets join us sentiment for the tea breaking news with integrity so sell your friends and your family it's the lovely tea tv show bringing you good tea and good vibes it's the lovely tea tv show be sure to share like and subscribe
subscribe